mates in this. I don't know which... which are they? No, they're not. I'm gonna watch how to root. I have Maxim Baudin here nicely in the middle to see pretty much all the guys in the start. Oh, I do have a teammate. Who is that? So let's say we have Brandon Enik taking the start. Oh. Real nice. And we have Leclerc oh. close behind. So I believe Leclerc is the new race leader. We have Hunt Root second. Kevin Letelier, nice lap as well. Luke Herbelin. So a lot of good guys up top right now. I want to see if Hunt Root can do anything to catch Leclerc. Looks like Letelier is going to go to the inside of Hunt Root, taking the position away. There's a drag race down the hill for once. Linus Anderson is dead last. He had a pretty good ride, a couple rides last week. Yeah. So bad luck, bad luck for him this moto. Yeah, that sucks. He had a really good second moto last week, leading pretty much most of the race. It looks like Jonathan Olsen is pretty good with this time as well. Already in third, so nice riding by Jonathan. So we have first place, Alexis, Alexis Leclerc. No surprise there, Mr. Fast. Then we have Hunt Root and then Jonathan Olsen. So Jonathan Olsen is a rider that's really good outdoors and I've pretty much always been, as far as I know. Who do you think will win, Hunt Root or Leclerc? Who do you think will finish first by uh, that? You never uh, know, but I'm gonna have to go with Hunt Root. Yeah? I don't know, it feels like Leclerc is either he's having a really great moto and he's just walking away with the victory or he's struggling quite all the time. Yeah. It feels like it could go either way. Can't count out Jonathan Olsen though. Yeah. Looks like he's actually closing up on Hunter Root. Yeah, I mean, it looks like he has a really good run right now, Jonathan. He could definitely win for sure. Then in Don't fourth, forget about Jesse Mullins back in the sixth position. He went 1-1 last week in RF. Oh, wow. That is, he's looking pretty smooth to maybe win. Gleb Volkov up to 7th, that's a really good race for him. Casey Oulert. Nice with the Husky there, maybe? No, no, KTM. Can't really see. Nice bike in the way. Jeremy Hinders from Starter Systems. Looks to be in 10th or something. Oh, the route goes down. Jeremy Hinders just caught the back. Jonathan off. Olsen to the lead. Oh, wow, Leclerc. Yeah, Root caught the back of Leclerc, and Leclerc went off the track, and Root went down. Oh, yeah. So Hunter Root loses a lot of spots. I want to see Hunter Root is back to fifth, just behind Jesse Mullins, and Mullins, Leclerc, and Hunter Root. I don't know, it's one more guy up there. Can't see, could it be... Can we tell you, perhaps? I think yeah, it's it is. Kevin yeah. Oh, Hunt. Can we tell you're getting sideways? So it looks like Olsen's keeping his ground on Leclerc, so. Yeah, but well, Leclerc feels like he's getting a little bit closer. Yeah. Oh, Jonathan Olsen starting to lag quite badly. Battle for third. Oh, Mullins is going to the inside here. So let's see. Oh, taking the outside away Maybe from the Oh, That was a nice Letelier. move. Yeah. Let's see here. See if Hunter Root can get with Yeah. I think I, he's going to get him. I, I believe tripling in is oh. way faster if you can get it yeah. clean. It looks like Hunter Root got him as well. So Hunter Root will start to chase after. Jesse Mullins. Mullins won the 450, I assume. 
yeah, last he week. Did. Yeah. That's and nice. Jonathan Olsen is lagging really bad. Yeah. It's so hard to compete with someone's lagging. I actually had an experience during the Supercross season in the last Ooh, chance qualifier. The inside. It looks like Jonathan Olsen actually meant to take the outside. Which is kind of strange, but maybe more comfortable with the outside than the inside as well. I wonder, I'm wondering if the two Americans, Hanaru and Mullen, can get up there and do some battle with the... Uh, with yeah. Mullen, I mean, uh, Olsen Leclerc. and Leclerc. Yeah. I believe Leclerc's just going down, so they like all stack up. I believe that it will, it will be a real good battle for first, but I think Leclerc pretty much has to go down first. I don't think they'll catch up. Can look at the lap times if we have any. We're on lap 3, 209 for Leclerc, Mullins 206, Hundreds 2013. But a, lot of the, a lot of these guys haven't been able to get a clean lap yet, so shouldn't think about that too much. I think Olsen had some problems. Yeah. 205. Uh, two of the Americans second faster than Leclerc, but he was dealing with lag yeah. in front of him. Yeah, exactly. And if somebody's lagging, you don't want to get too close. Yeah. Because then you could get a victim after lag. I'm looking here at Jeremy Hinders, and he's moved up to 450 for outers, right? Yeah. Nice. They have a really sick setup, Sardis systems. Yeah, it is pretty sick. Yeah, it was one of the better looking actually. We find last week's overall win a Met Museum back in, I believe it's 11th. Quite a bit further back than we I expect to see him. I'm gonna check in with Linus Anderson. Yeah. Well, 26th place, so making a couple passes. Yeah, not too much Pro though. Probably not as money as he wants, but still got 22 minutes left of his race. Yeah. No, no, I'm I'm wrong. Hold on. No, it's about 20 more minutes to race. Yeah. About 18. Yeah, before the one lap sign. So I was a. Uh, Somebody is typing kick also. Yeah, I, I don't know. I believe they would be fair to kick him because he's lagging, but as well as he's a top guy. But I mean, one of the rules is you can't really lag. It looks like Jesse Mullins is keeping the distance on Leclerc. So Leclerc is not really pulling away. That's pretty cool to see. Yeah. Looks like they gained about a second on him this lap. Yeah. If it, it Leclerc doesn't look too comfortable, to be honest. It looks like he's kind of... 204, 203, yeah, about a second faster. Oh. So second and third run the same lap line. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And exactly one second faster than Leclerc as well. So it... Pretty cool that the two Americans in the top ran the same lap time. That's not too often they, it happen. Let's see here if who's getting the inside out. Jesse Mullins staying nicely. Oh, oh going down. Swaps out. Those breaking bumps are just traitorous. Looks like Jonathan Olsen is going to get passed by. I made a couple good passes in that corner. Yeah. And single and jump into the inside. Yeah, you can really, if you care more speed, you can really do some nice passes. But as well as, it's really hard with the braking bumps to get it stopped and so. I really like oh, enjoy yeah. this track. I don't like many nationals, but I really like this one. So. You do? I really dislike this one. Pretty much. Oh, it looks like Joe Thomas is going to get a lap down. The player makes a mistake and route to the lead. Oh, wow. That's interesting, so let's see him follow what's happening here. Looks like Jonathan Olsen is back to 4th. Camille Tellier, 5th. Luke Herberlin, 6th. 
Walter Tynan 7th Casey Owlert 8th David Mayer 10th Oh, pile up in the bottom of the hill a pass. Yeah, looks like he gained like two positions from that So Hinner is definitely benefiting from that It looks like Hunt Ruth still maintaining the same lead on Leclerc Pretty much Nicely doubling. Thinking Leclerc might push it harder. Yeah. Trying to get to the lead. No. Looks like he's going a lot faster to me. Leclerc making a trying to make a move, but oh. blows the berm. Yeah, Leclerc is trying really hard right yeah, now. He's really pushing. I, as you said, he's really started to push. You can definitely see taking more chances, trying to get carry higher speed. One thing where really uh, Leclerc often benefits is turns because he's so fast in corners, just carrying so much speed. That's one thing Ooh. that he impresses me with. It's just the corner got speed. In, got in with a lap or <laughs> he's stuck on the hill. Why well, he got stuck? Who? But it lost a lot of time. Mullins did. Oh. Beer back in two minutes. What? Beer back in two minutes. Yeah. Looks like Leclerc really is push pushing it this time. Yeah. Olsen goes down. He went down. Oh. Looks like they're... L oh, that was Hunt Root. I thought it was the lapper. So, Alexis okay, Leclerc yeah. actually jumping to the back of Hunt Root. Oh, Jesse Mullins is going down as well. Getting stuck on Hunt Root on top of him. So that really benefits for Leclerc. That was the lapper actually getting stuck. That is the free something. I couldn't get the number. So that was pretty bad for Hunter, but it looks like Leclerc having more problems. I think I saw Tyson Fresh West as well in this race. I'm just wondering where he is. Matthew Messier on his 10th. I mean, I think Matthew Messier on... I, I, I expect him to be like top 5. Coming out winning yeah. both motos last week. He's back in town, so not really sure what. But at the same time, Hunt Root or Alexis Leclerc wasn't really in the race last week as well. Yeah. Claire seems to be picking it up, doing some faster lines, so. Yeah. Trying to lap the number 38, I believe that is. Eduardo Samos. Oh. Oh. That was an Let's interesting line. <laughs> Hunt Root still making quite a big lead. Jesse Mullins just a few seconds behind Leclerc at this point. So that's cool to see. Can really tell you now, up to fourth. Let's see, we find Jonathan Olson. Oh, Olin gets with a lapper. Yeah. Looks to be one of the. Could that be bottom? A little bit bottom? Because he just quit. I think so. Yeah. So Jeremy Hino is now back to 18. If he's really going backwards. Renek Enoch up to 13 out there, falling on the start. Yeah. You, lo you lose so much time if you fall on the start, it's insane. And Linus Anderson's up to 14. That's really yeah. good. 
Hundred. Come back. Yeah. I mean, falling on the sword is really Tyson Fresh who has thirty second, twen thirty second. That's really not where he wants to be. Not sure what happened to him. Mistake. Actually, it looks like Hunt Root is pulling away, or if Leclerc made a mistake. Leclerc yeah, made a big mistake. Oh yeah. Can we tell you it's actually pretty close by now? I want to see here if the Tellier can get any closer. And who's in second in points for 450? It is. See here. It is actually Linus Anderson. But I believe. But Linus. Anderson is still behind Madame Ceron, so Madame Ceron would probably still be points leader after this modo. And he's actually running black numbers on a red background. That's a unique combination. Battle between uh, the third and fourth. That's Kevin Latelier and G. Smolins fighting for third. Yeah, nice pick. And Luke Heberlin is, is very close, he's fifth. It's like Jonathan Olsen's dropped back far. Yeah, but it, maybe the lag as well. Not sure mm -hmm. there. It's really hard with the lag, you know. Yes, I mean, you're not too much affected yourself, but everyone around is affected. This moment is looking where to make a pass. Yeah. I think he's gonna pass him very quickly. Yeah, he just needs to find an opening. Oh, lapper. Lots of lappers. Yeah, like everyone pretty much went down. And McLaren oh, was in oh, that split back of Jumps out the inside section. Oh, so. yeah, that was a good, nice call there. Leclerc is actually down to fourth now, being stuck on some of the lappers. Yeah. So Leclerc trying to make a pass on the Tellier. Work his way up into the top three. Oh, oh. Leclerc getting. I don't know if that was the yellow or if that was the back of Leclerc. McLaren disconnected. Yeah, I don't. I think he's pretty much pissed. Wow. I We're think running in, running in like fifth and disconnect, so that's so weird. Yeah. But I mean, I guess he just wants to win, or he doesn't care. Something. Yeah. I don't know. Could be that. Either way, I think. He's used to be a leader, so yeah. he doesn't see it any other way. No, I mean, I would. I think like if you start an event, you should finish it as well. But yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, if it's a last chance qualifier and you're twentieth, that's one thing. But just like a race like this, it he could pick it up. I mean, I've seen him be so solid, like not fall for laps and laps, but. I don't know, maybe not feeling it today. Looks like Linus Anderson dropped back to 16th. Dropped back two positions. Justin Mullins up to second. Kevin Latelier third. Luke Herberlin fourth. Jonathan Olsen fifth. Valtteri Tainan sixth. Casey Olert seventh. So let's see if he can close up here. Really nice bike actually. Not too many people running white plastic. Battle for tenth and I mean battle for ninth. Brandon Enik and is that Andre Sandos? No, that's Maxim Tyson. Maxim Tyson. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. That was nice save. It's actually nice to see other dinos, like not Suzuki. Yeah, I see uh, that. Yeah, I see like Kawasaki. Uh, he's on KTM. Yeah, but that's actually the more powerful bike.
Yeah, it's really fun to see people ch changing him up because it's like pretty much Yamaha and KTM for 250s and then it's. Yeah, Suzuki is for 450s. Person is down. Yeah, he just went down, slid out. But I, I, Jeremy Hines seems to be a little bit far off to make something happening. Liner Sanderson was just EFK on the track. And the uh, 15th position is getting left. We have a nice battle here for 16th free riders trying to get a spot. Well, five, five riders fighting for this position. Yeah. Dyson is CFK on the drag as well. Hmm. Hmm. Linus Anderson disconnected, that was weird. Uh, Dyson, EFK also. So is Steven Magnet, Alexis Leclerc. Looks like everybody's quitting at this point. That's sad to see, but... I know this feel. <laughs> but I don't think, uh, like, Alexis has a bad PC. That's why she disconnected, so... Yeah. Hunt Root still up, to, still up in the top with a fastest lap time of 2 or 3. I think I saw him running out 2 flat in practice. Or qualifying, so that's just sick. Jesse Mullins third, second. Kevin Italier third. Luke Herbling close by in fourth. Jonathan Olsen fifth. Beltry Tainan sixth. Oh, Casey Owart going down, going over the berm. It looks like Man Museron is going to get close and he's going to pass as well. So Matt Museron make his way up to the 7th place mm. And what do you think? Maddie Museum is 7th and he won No, he won one model last week and he's a serious points leader Is this really where we expected to see him? No I, I mean, he was like unstoppable last week. Last week, he was so fast. Yeah. Dominating the field. Yeah, exactly. And now he's like back stuck in the later part of the top town. Oh, uh, did he switch teams as well? Like in Supercross, I think he was in the crew or no? No, yeah, I, he was. He was? He was F crew and. Oh, yeah, F3. yeah. He was riding a Suzuki. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so you switch over to EMC Consoles Graph, so it's teammate with Maxim Tyson. Can't get off the back of my head who's in the team as well. So many team changes. Obviously. Yeah. You did it as well. Yeah. Dropping out of Atlas Technologies to Art Reflex. Yeah. What does ART stand for? Uh, sorry? The ART, what does that stand for? Uh, I'm not sure, like, it's Tim's uh, old team. So yeah. we join Reflex Designs and Art to one team, so... Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not sure what it stands for, but it's a, an old team, like, from uh, 2012 or 2013, I'm not sure. Okay. And we have one more minute until the one lap sign comes out. See, it looks like pretty much everyone is pretty spread out. Not really any battles on the track. Yeah, Brandon Enoch is closing up on Matthew. Yeah. Persian. Not by far. We have a battle for 13th between Maxim Baudin and Damien Mayer. Getting lapped by number 10. And that should be... Jesse Mullins, right? Yep. Jesse Mullins close to Hunter Root as well. Yeah, let's see here what the gap is in a minute. Um, uh, a Hunter Root wasn't racing last week, was he? No, he was not. So, 
I, I wasn't sure if he was actually going to raise the EMF or not, but it turns out he's probably going to do that. And it's a nice battle here between Brandon Inic and uh, Manny Museum as well for, like, is that 6th? 8th? 7th, yeah. No white flag, so I'm not sure. It's like green flag, so I think two more laps. It will because be one more lap. One hundred comes around. Just cross the finish line equal to twenty-five minutes. Yeah. Oh, that was actually pretty cool. Matthew Musiron actually slid out in the turn, and then the guy behind him came and kind of pushed him up. And it is the one twenty-two. Not sure who that is. Brandon Enoch. Oh, Jesus oh, Mullins is on fire, he's really closing in. Yeah, but it's still quite a big gap. 16 yeah. seconds. I don't think anything will happen here. Oh, Brandon Enoch is going down. Maxim Tyson is way too far back to actually do something. So there's not really a whole lot of battle right now on the track. Everyone spread out, spread in their own pace. So, from first place to fourth, it is 68 seconds. That's a pretty big gap. That's insane. Wow, this Mullins is real and fire. Yeah. Like he's closing every part. Yeah, but section. But it's still too big of a gap to Yeah. I think Hunter Root is taking it easy right now because he don't want to do any mistakes. Yeah. No, I mean when you're on the lead on last lap you don't wanna do any mistakes. And even if he still maintains the lead after going down there could be a penalty that sets him back. Yeah. Oh it looks like a mistake by this moment because gap is Gap got bigger by two or three seconds. Oh, so it's actually one more lap. So this is the last lap here. White flag is out. So it looks like Maxim Tyson just got lapped. We have Jesse Mullins in second. Luke Herblin in fourth, so Luke Herblin got around. Can't really tell you. Not sure what happened there, but. Oh look at the Hunters and G Mullins last laps. Yeah. Totally the same. They are. Oh Jonathan Olson getting sideways of the jump. Nicely. Just doing some gym gymnastics down the side. <laughs> gymnastics? Yeah, but it looked like that like free running or something. Yeah. It was just spinning and going down the side of the jump. And we actually still have Mad Museum on Brandon Enoch battling it out for 7th. Oh, G Smolens got down. Mad Museum made a mistake, so it looks like Brandon Enoch is going to close up a little bit. Brandon Enoch going wider. Oh. It will go down. Yeah. Break check went wrong. I don't think that was a break, I guess. Yeah, I think that I was know. a mistake. Yeah. Oh, Brunei like, just wants it so bad now. Trying to push it too hard. Like, a Hunter Root is really close to love him. Yeah. Yeah, really close. And that sucks when that happened, what happened to Brunei. Because the guy in the front, you pretty much think it's he that should go down because he's getting run over. But then you go down and he doesn't. So then he just sucks. So Mermusion will get another lap as well with Brandon Enoch. And Hunt Root will take the victory with a backflip 360. Nice there by Hunt Root. Jesse Mullins is second. 24 seconds back. Luke Herblin third. Kevin Letelli fourth. Jonathan Olson fifth. Valtteri Tainan 6th and it actually looks like this battle is closing up between Joe Jonathan Olson and Valtteri Tainan. Oh, I don't know why Jonathan Olson is 
still taking that middle route on that hill because he's losing so much time there to pretty much everyone. He's taking all the middle routes instead of taking the insides. He just lost another position. So I don't know if he's not comfortable with taking all the insides or if he's just letting people pass. So I, he knows what he needs to work on the next race. It's definitely the insides and just as I say so, he will pass Valtteri on the inside. Real nice pass. Oh, he actually takes Valtteri Tynan down. It looks like Casey Ollert is going to get close. I don't think it's close enough to pass Valtteri. It's really close. So uh, Valtteri Tynan has another battle on his hands for the last lap here. There is Casey Ollert. And this is for six. I believe. So Casey's trying to go to the inside, jumping over. Oh, oh going down. And looking behind here, we can still see that we have Brandon Enik trying to catch Matt Museron. Made up a lot of time this last lap. I don't think it's going to be close enough. Brandon Inik wants this so bad. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh. That was that was a lot of will in that one. That he was hit just Matthew awesome. And made him do a front flip and he landed it. Yeah. That was really awesome. Really cool have battle there. That was awesome to see. That was like last week's in RF with the awesome finish between Clement Lund and Joseph Nazarek. That was sick. So we have Hunt Root taking the win, Jesse Muller in second, Luke Hurley in third, Kevin Letelier fourth, and Jonathan also in fifth. So not really sure who is who we're waiting for. Actually. Looks like AJ Fisher not really wanting to finish the race.